welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing my biggest unhaul ever. Yes, you heard me, my biggest unhaul ever. I am gonna be getting rid of a lot of books for the sole reason that I'm running out of space. I have so many books downstairs in my living room that I literally cannot bring upstairs. So I'm gonna be doing another unhaul with me. I did one of these about a year and a half ago, right before I moved. So if you never watched that, the way that I do my unhauls is we go into my shelves and I physically take off each individual book and I decide if I wanna keep it or if it's something that I would be okay letting go of. And then once I've taken off all of those books, I sit down, I read the synopses, I look up Goodreads reviews, and we kind of talk through whether or not I am gonna keep it or get rid of it. I find that this method helps me out the most because usually when I'm just like scanning my bookshelves, looking for things to unhaul, I can tend to overlook things and I keep things that really don't need to be there. So this is probably going to be another multi-part on haul series, just like my last one, because I do have a lot of bookshelves Shelves. In this episode, we're going to be doing these bookshelves behind me, which are my main bookshelves. And then I have a few more on the other side of the room, as well as a shelf downstairs. So this first part will be the shelf, and we'll see how much we can get through during this. I'm going to go one shelf at a time. So let's start with the first shelf on the top. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. Cinnamon gunpowder, I really wanna keep. It sounds so good. This one, I'm not sure about. I think I'm gonna pull this one down. This one I have read and I really enjoyed it, so I'll keep that one. This is one that I've had for a very long time. I don't know if it's high up on my TBR anymore, so we'll pull that down. Same with this one. I've had this one for a very, very long time. I can't even tell you what it's about. Babel, we'll pull this down. Uh, I don't know that I've ever really had the biggest urge to read it. This one I've heard not the best things about, so I'll pull that down. Venko, I still want to read. Um, this one's like a witchy fantasy. Beautiful Ones, I still want to read. I do enjoy Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is supposed to be like a cozy fantasy with dragons, so I would like to read that. These three, I have read them all. Howl's Moving Castle, I definitely want to keep. And then these two, I gave them both like three stars. They were fine. I feel like I kind of want to keep this one because I, I think this cover is adorable. This one, however, I think I can get rid of because it's like, it's a mass market paper bag. It doesn't really fit with all my other books and I'm not going to read the other books in the series. Honestly, I could get rid of this one too, but I think we'll save that one for now because I do think it's cute. The Inheritance of Orcadia Divina. I still want to read this. I think there's a potential that I could like this one. The Bone Orchard, I also still want to read. The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. I have a few Ava Reed books on my TBR and I would like to read at least one of her books to decide if she's the type of author for me. <laughs> Earth's End is the third book in a series that I do still want to read. God Killer, I still want to read. This is pretty high up on my TBR. Malice, I actually DNF'd with the intention of one day picking it back up so I'll pull this one down. Spear I also was a DNF that like I might have gone back to at some point but we'll pull that one down. The Gospel of Loki I've had for a very long time. I literally only bought it because Loki <laughs> but I don't really know that I'm super drawn to it so we'll pull that down. Evocation I still would like to read even though I'm feeling a little disheartened about S.T. Gibson right now. The Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry I would still like to read. Starlet Wood, this is a collection of short stories that I've had for a very very long time and I am not an anthology short story girl so we'll pull that one down. Star Eater sounds so good to me. It doesn't have the best reviews but I do think I still want to try it before I like but we get rid of it. This book, I think I bought this one like just completely on a whim, but I don't know, it does sound good to me. It's like about this uh, YouTuber who is a witch hunter and she has like a witch hunting series on her YouTube channel. I don't know, it sounds fun. I'll keep it for now, I'll keep it for now. This book, I only bought because Shauna McGuire blurbed it and I was gonna read it in that video where I read books blurbed by my favorite author, but I ended up not getting to this one. So we'll pull that down. This book survived my last unhaul and I have not thought about it once since then, so we'll pull that down. This is another book I've had for a very, very long time and I've never made the intention to read it, so I'll pull it down. Both of these are like newer purchases and they're still high up on my TBR. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I'm gonna pull this down because I have the fairy loot version of this book and I don't need both. A Conspiracy of Truths by Alexander Roslin. I Roslin? Oh my god, that's a booktuber! I was like, yeah, Alexander Roslin wrote this. <laughs> 
Alexandra Rowland. I've had this for a very, very long time and I really want to read it because she's the author of A Taste of Golden Iron and this one sounds really good. So I'll keep that. Flamebringer is the third book in this um, Pride and Prejudice Dragon series and I need to read this. So we'll be keeping that. Foundry Side, I've owned for a very, very long time because I think that the main character is a lesbian and I will save anything for the lesbians. But I'm like, actually, am I gonna read it? Probably not, probably not. So let's pull that down. Kill the Queen by Jennifer Estep. This is another book I've literally never made the intention to read. So I'll pull that down. I don't even remember what it's about. Robots vs. Fairies. Oh, this is another short story collection. Oh my God, wait, Delilah S. Dawson has a short story in here. Okay, I will actually keep it for that reason, um, <laughs> so I can read her story and then I'll get rid of it. How about that? The Paper Menagerie, another short story collection. I really thought that I was gonna be an anthology girl and I'm not, so let's pull that one down. Some Kind of Happiness, this is a middle grade book that sounds really cute and I do wanna read it because I have enjoyed Claire Legrand books before. A Fate Inked in Blood, this one I can get rid of because I have the hardcover of this book. This was an ARC that I got and um, now I have the hardcover, so. We can pull that down. The Man Who Died Twice. This is the sequel to The Thursday Murder Club, which I haven't read yet, but I do have plans to read it very soon. So once I read that, I can decide if I still want the sequel. All of these right here are books that I've already read. So I'll probably be keeping the majority of them. Spinning Silver, I really love this book. I do want to reread this eventually. Half a Soul I'll keep. Silver in the Wood I'll keep. All of my vicious and vengeful books. This one I would get rid of, but I actually met V.E. Schwab and she signed this one. So for that reason, I want to keep this version of Vicious, but then I prefer these versions. A Dowry of Blood, obviously I'm keeping. Uprooted? This I can get rid of, because I didn't really care for this book, and it doesn't even match my Spinning Silver, so I don't even usually keep them together. She Who Became the Sun, this is another one that like, I thought it was fine, I enjoyed it, I have no plan to read the sequel, so I'll pull that down. Karen Memory, I read this and I enjoyed it. I think enough to hold on to it. The Book of Gothel, this is an arc that I read and I didn't really love this book, so I'll pull that down. Piranesi, I gave this four stars. I don't know, I think I'll hold on to it for now. That's one that could go in a future run haul. I think for now though, I will hold on to it. The Mythic Dream is also a short story collection, but this one I am going to hold on to. I have already read this one. The Library at Mount Char. I think I'll hold on to this. I really, really loved this book when I read it. It was a little forgettable for me. Like, I don't think about it that much, but I feel like it could be something that I reread in the future. Tread of Angels, I will keep. Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. I don't need to hold on to that. These two, I really liked these uh, novellas, so I'll keep those. Legends and Lattes, obviously I'm gonna keep. This novella I loved, so I'll be keeping that. I'm obviously keeping The House in the Cerulean Sea. And then I'm keeping these two. I, I love the first one, I haven't read the second yet. Honestly, I have not heard the best things about the second book, but they're very cute little books. And then this back here, I have not read these. God of Endings and Madalena in the Dark. I really, really want to keep those. These are like high up on my TBR. Oh wait, Spells for Forgetting I read. It was fine. I'll pull this one down. It was like a three star. Ariadne um, is a Greek mythology book, which I'm not the biggest Greek mythology book girl. So I'll pull that one down. This one, I don't even know what it's about. So I'll pull that down. Same with this. I've had this one for a very long time. Don't know what it's about. The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, who I love. I tried to read and I really could not get into it. So I'll pull that down. The Witch's Heart, this is also a Greek mythology book, but of all the Greek mythology books I have, I do think this is the one that I could potentially like the most. So I'll hold on to that. And then Wayward, I actually DNF'd this book, but this has one of the most stunning covers I've ever seen in my life. So I struggle with it. Let's pull it down. We could talk about it. We could talk about it. I'll think about it. I took 28 books off of that shelf. These are all of the ones that I have already read and I just, I don't need to hold on to. So we'll just automatically get rid of these. These three I started and DNF'd and I really just don't know that I want to go back to them anymore. This one I think is the biggest bummer because this is one of the most beautiful covers that I have and I want to keep it just for that reason but I don't think that's a good enough reason when I couldn't even get myself to finish this book. I think I will get rid of Wayward, Malice, and Spear. Also, I just realized they're all one word titles. <laughs> then I have this stack, which are all books that I have not read, but I don't have an interest in anymore. Oh wait, actually I did DNF this. 
So this goes in the DNF pile. I think I can get rid of all of these. Then I have Fate, Inked and Blood. This is an ARC copy. I'll put all the ARCs that I'm getting rid of in a separate pile and I'll probably take them to a little free library near me. Then we have this stack. These are all ones that I haven't read, but I might still be interested in them. I just don't really know what any of them are about. I don't remember. I've had a lot of these for a very long time. The Kings of Bones and Ashes. Oh, it's by a man. <laughs> I'm like, um, maybe I should just get rid of it. It's by an old man. Honestly, I think I remember in my last sun haul, this just made it by like very, like barely. Haven't thought about it since. So let's just get rid of that one. Mark's Woman. It has kind of a low Goodreads rating. Oh, it's YA. I thought this was adult, but all the reviews are saying it's YA. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Kill the Queen. It says it combines when an unlikely member of the royal family suddenly becomes a contender in a class for the crown. Mm, that sounds like a million books I've read. Gospel of Loki. Oh wait, it's a spinoff of another series? <laughs> okay, let's get rid of it. Listen, I used to have a problem of buying books that I didn't know anything about and I would just buy them sight unseen. Didn't know. Didn't know that was part of another series. Wintertide. After attacking Devil's Reef in 1928, the US government, ugh, boring. No. FBI? It's about an FBI agent? No. Miranda and Caliban? Oh, it's a retelling of The Tempest. Hmm. No. Boundary side. This one, oh, the main character is a thief. It's just very long. I'm not feeling a draw to it. Stardust Thief. This one's also very long. This one's also about a criminal. No. The Unbroken. This one I think is a little too military fantasy for me, which I have recently decided that's not my thing. Okay, and then this one, Last Song Before Night. Mm, the magic in this world is spoken poetry. I don't, you know, I'm, I don't know about that. I'm not a big poetry girl, and if I have to read a book where people are just like breaking out in sonnets, I don't think I would like that. I don't think so. Did I save anything from that shelf? I don't think I did. Oh my god, I'm crushing it. That means I got rid of all 28 books. Let's move on to shelf number two. Moving down to this next shelf, I will be keeping Ninth House and Hellbent. These are both five star books for me. The Alchemist Loom I want to keep because this is a series that I would like to finish one day. Kingdom of Copper I will be keeping. My copy of City of Brass is downstairs and I want to read that one before I decide if I'm going to continue. The Bone Shard Daughter, I read this one and I gave it four stars, but I don't plan on continuing the series, so we'll pull that down. Same with The Poppy War. Um, I read The Poppy War and I just, I really don't know if realistically I'm gonna finish the series. I think I'm lying to myself when I say that I am, so I'll pull those down. <laughs> Temper, this is one that I don't really know what it's about, so we could pull that down and read the synopsis. A Spindle Splintered, I read this and I didn't like it. So I'll pull that off. Servant Mage, this one I do wanna read. It sounds really good. There's a dragon on it. The Perfect Assassin, I have no idea what this book is, so we'll look at that. <laughs> Same with God Blind. What is this? No clue. I cannot remember if I've read this book or not. If I have, I completely erased it from my brain. We can check my Goodreads. Fly Away, I would still like to read. This is like a fantasy horror book that sounds very interesting. A Winter's Promise, I have heard mixed things about this, but it is translated and I've always like kind of wanted to read it. So I think I want to try it out before I decide if I want to get rid of it. Dragons of Nova, this is the second book to Alchemist of Loom. So I'm obviously keeping those. Black Sun and a Fevered Star. I've read Black Sun, I love it. I really want to read the sequel. I just, I'm very, very bad at reading sequels, okay? These two, I have not read. I've had them forever, so um, I'll pull that down. Borderline and Phantom Pains, I'm gonna keep. I have read Borderline and it was very interesting. The Last Sun and Hanged Man, I wanna keep. I've heard these compared to Supernatural, which was a show that I used to be very obsessed with. I'm obviously keeping the Poison Study series, which I love. I reread this all the time. For the Wolf and For the Throne, I do want to read at some point, at least the first book, and then I can decide if I still want the second book. The Goblin Emperor and Witness for the Dead, I do want to read. I've heard this is like a cozy fantasy. This whole series, listen, if you've been rocking with me for a long time, you recognize these little ladies here. <laughs> they have survived a many unhauls and they will live to see another day because I do want to read the first book, which isn't here. I have the first book downstairs and I hopefully will be reading 
that soon. Over the Woodward Wall and along Saltway Sea, I will be keeping. I've read these and I really enjoy them. Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin, I am keeping. I've actually started reading this. I want to read a little bit more. I'm kind of reading like the parts that are in the TV show. The Hobbit, I'm obviously keeping. If you watched my Hobbit House vlog, uh, this is a very beautiful illustrated edition that I got in that video. Um, and then obviously, you know, the Lord of the Rings trilogy there, I will be keeping as well. Kings of Wild and Bloody Rose, I do want to keep. Actually, because this book sounds really, really good to me, but I think you have to read this one first. So I'll try them eventually. One of these days, I have these two Witcher books. I've read this one, haven't read this one, so we'll pull those down. These two are the second and third books in the Library of the Unwritten series, which I love and I really want to finish, so I will be holding on to those. Obviously, I will be holding on to the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. This is one of my favorite fantasy books ever. I do really want to finish this trilogy. I'm just intimidated, you know, because I love this one so much. How Long Till Black Future Month. This is a short story collection. I've read a few of the stories in here and I enjoyed them and I do feel like I would go back and read some of the other stories. Ugh. Am I lying to myself? Let's pull it down. I feel like I should just pull down every short story collection. Seasonal Fears. Will I read this? I don't know. Let's pull it down. Let's pull it down. I'm not sure. The Dream Blood duology by N.K. Jemisin. I DNF'd The Killing Moon, which is the first book in this bind up. Let's pull it down. I feel like on instinct, I want to keep N.K. Jemisin books because I love her so much. This I will be keeping. I loved this first book and I want to continue. So I'll keep all of those N.K. Jemisin books. We could talk about the others. This last little section over here. Oh, let's come back to these. Let's come back to those because they go with a series over here. <laughs> um, Jade City and Jade War, I'm going to keep. I love Jade City. I do plan on finishing the series eventually. You'll hear that about a hundred times in this video. Same with this. Love this first book. Have I read the other books? No. Would I like to? Yeah, so I'll hold on to them. Um, okay, these are all the Ryuria books. I've read the first bind up, Theft of Swords. These are the other two in that series, and then these two are prequels. I do want to keep all of these because I really enjoyed Theft of Swords. And then same with this. This is another prequel series that I would like to read. Actually, this one sounds the most interesting out of any of his books. Queens of Venice Lear, I love this book. We will be saving it. Um, this is an amazing... King Lear fantasy retelling. This is the Winter Night trilogy. I've read all of it. I love it. Trader Baru Cormorant. I loved this first book. I can't remember if I read the second book or not, but I would like to actually reread this and finish the trilogy at some point. And then Lady Hotspur is a companion to the Queens of Innis Lear. It takes place like a couple hundred years later. So I do really want to read that one eventually. I removed 15 books from that shelf. So of those 15, here are the ones that I have read slash series that I've started and I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. So we have the two Witcher books that I own. I read The Last Wish. I haven't read Sword of Destiny, but I only read these or I only got these because I wanted to read them for the TV show and then the TV show ended up not being good. <laughs> so I'm not gonna continue. Even though I'm sure people are gonna tell me, oh my God, the books are better and I'm sure you're right. I'm just not invested. A Spindle Splintered, I didn't like. This one I did end up checking my Goodreads. I did read it no memory of it. And then I'm not going to finish the Poppy War trilogy and I'm not going to finish this series either. So I can just get rid of all of those. Then I have these two N.K. Jemisin books that I had started and DNF. I love N.K. Jemisin and it breaks my heart to get rid of any of her books, but I, I did keep a lot of her books. I kept the ones that I love. So these I'm okay parting with. Then I have this little stack of books I haven't read, but I don't want to keep. I really don't think I'm going to read Seasonal Fears. I gave Middle Game four stars. I heard terrible things about this book from people who love Middle Game even more than me, and I didn't feel that compelled at the end of Middle Game to like want to keep reading. And then this series I am getting rid of because I'm gonna be honest, I heard some not great things about this author, and I also am just not super drawn to them, so I'm okay parting with them. So that leaves this little stack of three books that I don't know what they're about and I haven't read. So let's do a little investigating. So we have Temper by Nikki Drayden, who I do think I have another Nikki Drayden book somewhere on my shelf. This actually sounds really good. I've never heard anybody talk about this, but this is about two twin brothers. And I guess in this world, you get branded with vices. And the more vices that you're branded with, the lesser in society you are. So one of the twin brothers 
is branded with six vices and the other one is only branded with one. So one of the twins is much lower in society than the other twin. And then he starts hearing voices that speak to his dangerous side and encouraging him to perform evil deeds. And they go on a trip to Africa where demons are running about. I don't know, this sounds very interesting. And it says that it's a mix of science fiction, horror, fantasy, and humor. That sounds really good, so I do think I want to hold on to this one. So we're saving one book so far. The next one is The Perfect Assassin. I don't know, this sounds like a lot of fantasy books that I have or I've read. I'm not being drawn to it. God Blind, I'm not being drawn to it. I don't know, I feel like a lot of these fantasy books are just starting to sound the same to me. From that shelf, we are saving one book and getting rid of the other 14. Okay, this next shelf is all my horror books and I've read the vast majority of them. So I'm probably going to be keeping a lot of them, but there are definitely some that I can get rid of. Some that I didn't like, for example, How to Sell a Haunted House, so we'll pull that one down. Same with Ghost Eaters, this is another one that I didn't like. Man Made Monsters is an anthology, but I actually enjoyed this one. And it's kind of a cool book with like artwork and stuff inside. So I want to hold on to that. The Death of Jane Lawrence, I really liked that. I love Caitlin Starling. House of Hunger, I gave this one like 3.5 stars. I love this cover. I think I'll hold on to it for now, for now. Plain Bad Heroines, I loved this book. I actually want to reread it at some point because I physically read this because I read it as an arc and I would like to listen to the audiobook that I think has a full cast. Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey, I gave this book four stars, so I'll keep that. Catherine House, I gave this one one star, so let's pull that off. Horrid by Katrina Leno, I enjoyed okay, all of these little novellas. The Ballad of Black Tom was fine. Yellow Jessamine, I didn't really like this. Monster of Ellenhaven, I love. We're keeping... We're keeping her. Carmilla, I really enjoyed, so we're keeping her. And then things have gotten worse since we last spoke. I will also keep that, because I enjoyed that. So we'll pull those two off. Frog Hill Girls. I did like this book, but I don't know that I need to hold on to it. Same with House of Hollow. I enjoyed it, it was fine. I don't know that I need to hold on to it. We Spread, I liked, so we'll keep that one. Bunny is a book that I was very, very confused by in that I don't know if I loved it or hated it and I would like to reread it at some point. Come Closer by Sarah Grand, I love. Same with This Thing Between Us, I love that one. Nothing But Black and Teeth is a book that I enjoyed and I think I'm the only person in the world who enjoyed it. The Seven Visitations of Sydney Burgess, I really enjoyed this book. More Grady Hendrix books, these two are probably my two favorites of his. My Best Friends, Exorcism, and Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. And The Trees Crept In. I am going to keep Briar Dark. I'm going to keep these all right here. We're all five star books for me, so I'm gonna keep them. Near the Bone, I love. I love Christina Henry's books. Also, if you're wondering how my horror books are organized, they were organized by like horror subgenres, not by authors. So that's why a lot of authors are mixed up. I do think though, They've gotten a little disorganized, but that was my original organization. Then we have all these Kate Alice Marshall books that I love. She's one of my favorites. Annihilation, I really enjoyed and I would like to read the rest of the series. Episode 13, I gave four stars. I really enjoyed that. It's a very fun, like mixed media book. Strange Grace, I love, love this book. I wanna reread it. Murders of My Southborn, I really love that one. Our Wives Under the Sea, I gave this four stars, but I literally never think about it. And actually, it's probably more of a three star if like I'm being really honest with myself. It's probably a three star. So I'll pull that one down. The Book of the Most Precious Substance, I love this book so much. Five stars, amazing, no notes. Come For Me With Apples, I also really love that one. Goddess of Filth, I love. See, this horror shelf is like pretty easy. <laughs> My Dearest Darkest, I really enjoyed that. Dead Silence, I really liked. Luminous Dead, that's a five star for me. These are both um, sci-fi horror books. Now, A House at the Bottom of the Lake, did not like. So we could take that down. Same with Misery by Stephen King. I don't think I'm a Stephen King girl. And The Weight of Blood, I gave three stars, but I don't I don't know that I need to hold on to it. Final Girl Support Group, I really liked. So I'm gonna keep that. The Visitor, I hated this book. 
hated it. So we'll take that down. Wilder Girls, I love this one. I do want to reread it at some point. This is another one that I physically read and I would like to listen to the audiobook. Horror Store, I did not like this. So we'll pull that off. The other two Christina Henry books that I've read, Good Girls Don't Die and The Girl in Red, I love these. So I'll be keeping them. Bird Box, I will be keeping. Um, this is the only Josh Mallerman book that I've liked. The only Good Indians, which I love. Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. This is actually the first horror book that I think I ever read. It's a YA anthology and I did really like it but I don't think I need to hold on to it anymore. I read this like I don't know like eight years ago. Tenders of Flesh. I gave one star. Let's pull it off. The Sacrifice by Rin Chapeco. I enjoyed this but um it's not like the most memorable thing to me so we'll pull that down. Hex I will be keeping. Dead Space. I think I DNF'd this. I'm like 90% sure so let's pull that down. Daphne. I did not really care for this one so we'll pull that down i honestly think other than bird box i don't really like josh mallerman into the drowning deep we all know where i'm keeping this this is my favorite horror book ever now the rest of these horror books are the ones that are still left on my tbr so these might be a little more difficult all of these i will be keeping because i have reasons why i'm reading each of them crossroads oh wait i read this one this should be in my red books um actually i can pull this one down because I, it was fine. No Gods for Drowning by Hayley Piper. I did DNF this, but I do think I want to go back to it at some point. I just don't think I was in the mood for it when I tried it. This one, I still would really like to read. This book, I bought completely on a whim, and I kind of regretted it, even as I was like leaving the store. So we'll pull that down. <laughs> Hammers on Bone is a Cassandra Caw book. I have a lot of Cassandra Caw books, actually, and I would like to read more from her. This is one of the few Sean McGuire books that I haven't read that it's not part of her like October Day series. So I would really like to read that. Suburban Hell, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know if this is my vibe anymore. So let's pull that off. The Winter People, this is a book that I've almost read for many, many videos. And every time I talk myself out of reading it because I don't think I want to read it. So let's pull it off. I know a lot of people love this. I just, I don't know if I will love it. I'm gonna keep the rest of these Christina Henry books cause I love her and I wanna read everything that she's written. Follow Me to the Ground sounds very weird and interesting and I've been recommended this a lot as like a weird book. When the Reckoning Comes, I don't know. I think I might pull this off. I don't really know if this is the kind of horror for me. This Delicious Death, I do really wanna read. It's by um, Kayla Cottingham and it sounds fun. Parasite by Darcy Coates is a sci-fi horror that I still really like to read. I still really wanna read this. A lot of these I still really wanna read. This one I wanna read. Summer Suns I wanna read. Leech I wanna read. Odd Spirits by S.T. Gibson. This is out of print now, so I will be holding on to this even if I don't wanna read it. <laughs> this one, I don't even really know what this book is about or what it is, so we'll pull that one down. Legacy Witches I still would really like to read. Same with Queen of Teeth. Um, this is another Vagina Teeth book. Which apparently, I have a lot of vagina teeth book on my TBR. Krampus by Brahm, I would still like to read, but um, I keep missing it every December. I only want to read it in December, and then December comes and goes, and I don't read it. Mary, I have always really wanted to read. I hear amazing things about this book. This book, I'm going to take off of my shelf. I actually heard some not amazing things about this book that kind of turned me off to it. The Narrow is um, the last Kate Alice Marshall book that I still have left to read, so we'll keep that. The Book of Living Secrets I'm gonna keep. This one's just always intrigued me. It sounds very interesting. Same with Just Like Mother. This sounds very good. Also, I just love this cover. It's so creepy. <laughs> and then I have this stack down here. We have The Paul Bearers Club, which I would like to read. Even though I like know that everybody hates this book, I wanna read it. The Supernatural en Enhancements I would like to read. I think this one is also like mixed media, which just looks really cool. This is the last Grady Hendrix book that I have on my TBR. So I would love to read that one. Same with this Mona Awad book. I really want to read that. This sounds like a very fun horror book. So I want to read that. Hour of the Witch I really want to read. And then I've already read like a lot of Edgar Allan Poe stories. And I love this edition of it. So... I'm gonna keep that. From that shelf, I took off 25 books. 19 of them I have already read and I don't need to hold on to. So we're gonna get rid of all the ones that I've read. So then of the ones that are still on my TBR, four of them are ones that I'm not interested in anymore. So I'm going to get rid of these four. So then I have two that I'm not sure about. I like how I keep taking these half price book stickers off as I'm getting rid of these books. I've had them on my shelves for years with the stickers on and now that I'm getting rid of them, I'm like, okay, time for the stickers to go. So the lucky ones, this is, it says it's part mystery, part gothic suspense. Mm, no, 
I don't like the sound of that. Suburban Hell. This book starts out, none of this would have happened if it weren't for the she shed. I think I hate the term she shed. And for that reason, I think I might unhaul it. I just have a feeling that the humor in here might be cringy and I don't think I can handle that. Okay, we'll get rid of that. So we are getting rid of all 25 books from that shelf. All right, this next shelf, mostly sci-fi books. Cause I do think that stack down there is like just kind of random stuff. Um, so we'll do that one first. Hench, I will be keeping. I really like this book. The Violence by Delilah S. Dawson. I will also be keeping, obviously, Delilah S. Dawson. I want to read more of her books. Tidepool, this is a book that I completely bought on a whim, knowing absolutely nothing about. So we'll pull that down and take a look at it. The Need, this is another book I don't really remember what it's about. So we'll take a look. Same with this. I don't remember what this book is or why I bought it. The Midnight Library I read and I just thought it was fine. So we'll pull that down. And then The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I've always wanted to read. It's one of the few Neil Gaiman books that I haven't read yet. So I'll hold on to that. Project Hail Mary, I will be keeping. This is my favorite sci-fi book of all time. Illuminae, this one I did really like. This is like a special ARC edition that I got at the very first book expo that I went to. So I have like fond memories of it. So I do think I want to hold on to it. Second Rebel, I will be keeping because I want to finish the series. I love book one. This is How You Lose a Time War. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I will be keeping that. Children of Time, I feel like I want to read this eventually. So I will hold on to it. I just, I don't think I read sci-fi as often, but it is a genre that I really love. I'm just, I have to be in a particular mood for it. A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe is another one that I really still want to read. Unkindness of Ghosts, I've read and I love this book. I really, really love River Solomon. Now, this one, of all of like the space travel books on my TBR, this is one I probably am fine unhauling. So we'll pull that down. Nine Fox Gambit, I've heard really great things about. I do want to read this. Also, just like, look how cool that spaceship is on there. Like, what? is that porcupine? I don't know, but I would like to find out. Binti, I've read, I love, I've read this whole series of novellas. Sun Daughter, Sea Daughters, this is like a sci-fi Little Mermaid retelling that sounds so cool, so I'll keep that. The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, I have read this and I really enjoyed it. It's a YA sci-fi thriller that I was very, very pleasantly surprised by. Recursion by Blake Crouch. Now this one is one that I think I can maybe unhaul. I still have Dark Matter. Um, I actually think my copy's downstairs. And I haven't read it yet. And if I'm gonna read one of his books, it's gonna be that one instead of this, because I have heard that they're kind of similar. Mickey Seven, I do want to read this, especially since there's a movie coming out soon. The All Consuming World by Cassandra Ka. This is another Cassandra Ka book that I would like to read. Mem by Brittany C. Morrow. This one I read, but I don't know that I need to hold on to it, so we'll pull that off. The Mad Scientist's Daughter. This is one that I've just always wanted to read. Pray of Gods. I I think I'm gonna pull this down because I don't remember what this is about but this cover is very cool. But we can read the synopsis and decide together. All Sins and Red by Martha Wells. I read this whole series and I love it. This is the only one that I own though. <laughs> I would eventually like to get them all in physical copies. A Song for Wild Built by Becky Chambers. I also love this. The Future of Another Timeline. This one sounds really good. It's about like time travel. Actually, all of these are time travel books. This is my little time travel section. Alice Payne Arrives. This one I do want to keep. Time Was. I've had this book for so long. This came out apparently in 2018 and I got an arc of it. So I've had it for a very long time and I've never made the intention to read it. So we'll pull that down. Same with this book. Um, this is A Psychology of Time Travel. I've had this arc for a very long time. I will be keeping all of these Becky Chambers books because I love her. More time travel books. I would like to read these because, I don't know, the way that there's like dinosaurs on this cover, I'm like, it just seems cool. It seems cool. I'm interested. I do really, really like time travel stuff. Riot Baby, I don't remember what this is about, so we can pull it down. These are both novellas that I have read, but I don't feel any like attachment to them, so we'll pull those down. The Conductors, I still would really like to read. The premise of this sounds very interesting to me. It's like a, a magical version of the Underground Railroad or something. I could be wrong. I just remember it sounds very cool. This series, this is the Calculating Star series and um, I have all of them. The first book is downstairs. I want to read this, so I'll hold on to those. Same with this series. I've read the first book and I would like to finish it at some point. And then this is by the same author and it sounds very interesting, so I would like to read that as well. We have this whole like superhero series. I've read the first book and I really enjoyed it. So I, I do want to continue this series. They're just like, they're just very fun. <laughs> Remote Control, I read and it was fine. Um, so I'll pull that off. This one I've tried to read many times actually. I do still want to hold on to it. I do think when I'm eventually in the mood for it, I will enjoy it. It's about like 
an, it's a post-apocalyptic romance with mercenary librarians. Like, it sounds great. I'm just never in the mood for it. The Power by Naomi Alderman. I really loved this book. However, I don't really know if it holds up that much, and I never talk about it or recommend it, so I will pull that one down. I will be keeping these Emily St. John Mandel books. I love Station Eleven, and I want to read Sea of Tranquility eventually. These Rebecca Roanhorse books I have read, and I really love them. Sadly, I don't think she will be finishing this series, <laughs> but I still want to hold on to them because I loved this series. The End of Men, I don't know what this book is, or where it came from, or when I bought it, or what it's about, so let's pull that down. The Book of the Unnamed Midwife, I read this book a long time ago and I gave it five stars and I still really love it. World Gives Way, this was one of my favorite books of last year, so I will be holding on to that. And then I think that is the end of my sci-fi books. This next section right here, I think are just kind of random books that I stuck here. The Bloody Chamber, this is a classic that I want to read soon. Long Time Dead, this is a sapphic vampire book that sounds so good. Okay, everything's going down. Now, Belladonna, this book I thought was fine. So we'll pull that one down. My husband, I really, really loved this book. I want to keep this whole series um, by Darcy Coates. I loved this first book. It was so much fun, and I really want to finish it. Actually, these should be on my horror shelf. So let me just stick those up there. And then, obviously, I'm keeping these two beautiful special editions. I have a lot of editions like this. Okay, now moving down to this very last section, these are my historical fiction books. Um, actually, except for this one. This is the sequel to The Book of the Unnamed Midwife, and I haven't read this, but I do really want to. Outlander, I read, and I really liked it, but I don't think I'm going to continue the series because these books are way too long. The Song of Achilles, I liked this book, but I honestly don't think Madeline Miller is the author for me. I think I thought this book was fine, but I don't think that Madeline Miller is really the author for me. Like, I never think about this. The Corset, this is a book that sounds very interesting. I would like to read that. Jane Steele is one of my favorites. I want to reread this at some point. It really is. Jane Eyre gets a dose of Dexter. That is correct. The Daughters of the Athena Club series, this is one of my all-time favorites. I love this trilogy, so I will be keeping that. The Lady Sherlock series. I have the first book in this series. Um, it's just on another shelf, and I do want to keep these. These are like Victorian mysteries. In the Garden of Spite, I also want to keep. This is about like the first female serial killer. Last Night at the Telegraph Club, I have not read. I do really like Melinda Lowe, but I just think the time for me to read this has come and gone. Lovely Wife, I read this, and I really liked it. Trouble the Saints, um, this is another one that I just think the time for me to read this has gone. So I'll pull that down. These are two books that I enjoyed when I read them, but I never think about them anymore. So I will pull those off. And then we have my two favorite Taylor Jenkins Reid books. I will obviously be keeping these. I love these two books. I took 23 books off of that shelf. Out of those, these are all the ones that I've already read and I don't want to keep anymore. Actually, <laughs> I think it's really funny because there's this book right here that's called Mem, which is about people's memories being erased. And I literally cannot remember this book. Don't remember that I read it. It was erased from my memory. We will get rid of all of these. Then I have this stack, which are all books that I haven't read, but I don't think I have an interest in anymore. And then that leaves these three books which I don't know what they're about. So let's find out. First one is the other Nikki Drayden book that I have, which so far she's been the only author that I've saved. So this one's looking a little promising. Also, I've just always loved this cover with like the creepy little girl who's like giving a demonic smile. I can't tell if it's sci-fi or fantasy. It takes place in South Africa. Personal robots are making life easier for the working class, but there's a new hallucinogenic drug sweeping the nation and an emerging AI uprising, very current, <laughs> and an ancient demigoddess hellbent on regaining her former status by preying on the blood and sweat of every human she encounters. And it's up to a young Zulu girl powerful enough to destroy her entire township and a queer teen plagued with abilities to control minds. A pop diva with serious daddy issues and a politician with serious mommy issues. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this, honestly. Maybe I need to do a video where I like taste test Nikki Drayden because both of these sound very good. Oh my God, she's from Austin, Texas. Okay, I definitely wanna read these. I'm fully saving this. Then we have Tide Pool. This is one that I think I just bought on a whim and I don't even remember. It says it's a Lovecraftian horror with American horror story vibes. I don't know. I don't know that this is speaking to me personally. Let's get rid of that one. And then we have The End of Men, which I don't remember getting this, but it's possible all I saw was the title and I said, add to cart. <laughs> it says it's set in a world where a virus stalks our male population. This electrifying debut asks, what would life truly look like without men? I don't know. I don't know that I'm super into virus 
books anymore. I read a lot. Um, I, I think I'm good. We'll get rid of The End of Men. So, once again, the only book I'm saving is Nikki Drayden. And I will be getting rid of the other, what did I say, 24 books? Okay, this is kind of a very weird random shelf. I have some nonfiction, book of the month books. I think we're about to clear this. I'm actually just gonna pull off all of these book of the month books because they're all ones that I just don't really know if they're speaking to me anymore. Same with a lot of these nonfictions. I thought I was gonna be a nonfiction girl at one point in my life. And you know, I'm just, if I'm being honest with myself, I'm not. The only one I do think I might still wanna read is Educated because I have heard really good things about this. So we'll keep that one, but the rest of these, I'll take off. These three though, I've actually read them. So I wanna keep those. Like I would like to have a little section of nonfiction that I have read. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I thought this one was fine. I wanna get a copy of In My Dream, wait, In The Dream House, which I gave five stars and I love. So. Maybe I'll swap this one for that one. This is a um, poetry collection called Salt, and I used to be a poetry girl. I'm no longer a poetry girl, so we'll get rid of that. These were both classics that I bought for a class that I was taking in college, and then I ended up dropping the class. So this one will take off. Jane Eyre, I will keep because I do want to read this. Medusa, I read this and I really enjoyed this, so I'll keep that. I have these two Kerrigan Byrne Victorian murder mysteries. I really enjoyed the first book, so I want to read book two. And then I have this little um, box set of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I would like to read. So there's that little section that I'm keeping. Now, the rest of the shelf is all thrillers and like some mysteries. How I'll Kill You, which I'm going to be keeping. This is a newer book that I got. A Most Agreeable Murder, which I will be keeping because this is like a Jane Austen murder mystery. Same with The Murder of Mr. Wickham, another Jane Austen murder mystery. This one I am not sure about. I think we'll pull that one off. I wanna read reviews for this book because I don't remember I don't remember if someone recommended this to me or why I really got it. I do think this whole section of book of the month thrillers I'm gonna take off just because I don't know if they're really speaking to me anymore. Sundial, I think I might pull this one off because I don't know, I haven't heard the best things about this. The Maid, I will also be pulling off. The Children on the Hill, I'm going to keep. I actually think this one might be a horror book. Killers of a Certain Age, I'm keeping because um, Deanna Rayborn is one of my favorite authors. He started it, I am taking off. This one, I... I'm I'm not sure if I still want to read this. I think I'll, I'll look up some Goodreads reviews. This one I don't even remember what it's about, so we can look at that one. Night Film, I read, and I do want to hold on to that. Same with Black Iris, I read that. The Girl in 6E, I don't mind holding on to it. When no one is watching, I think I might get rid of this one. I don't know, I did enjoy it. It wasn't like a favorite. I'll pull it down, we can decide. Notes on an ex execution, I think I'm gonna pull off just because I literally never think about this book. I am gonna be pulling down all of the Finlay Donovan books because I hated book three. The Last House on Needless Street, I will be keeping. I really liked that. Same with The Passengers. In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, I'm obviously keeping. That's one of my favorite thrillers. The Golden Spoon and My Lovely Wife, I will be pulling off. This one was like a three star. This one I hated. Temper is still on my TBR, so I'll keep that one. These four right here are all five stars, so I'm gonna keep all of those. Same with you. The History of Wild Places, I read this, didn't really like it. So I will take that off. For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing, I will keep. That was a four star. Rock, Paper, Scissors, by Alice Meany I didn't like, so we'll take that off. Same with What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall, who I know I love Kate Alice Marshall, I did not like this one. The Hacienda, I will also be taking off. This was like a three star, it was fine. And then we have this last stack back here. We have Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, which is like a three star, and I'm honestly not a big Riley Sager fan, so I think I'll take this off. The Roanoke Girls by Amy Ingle, which I loved when I read it. However, I don't know if it holds up. I think I'll still hold on to it. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, I DN after this, and I have no intention of going back to it. The Turn of the Key, I read and it was fine. A Ruth Ware is another author. I don't really think she's for me. And the Mexican Gothic, I really enjoyed this, gave it four stars, so I will Hold on to that one. The shelf, I cleaned house. I took off 40 books. And out of those, 16 are ones that, <laughs> if I can hold them up, are ones that I've already read and I don't want anymore. Most of these I was not a fan of. Then I have one that I DNF'd and I don't have an interest in going back to. Then there's 22. I'm not gonna pick them up. So I'll just show you right here. There's 22 that 
I haven't read but I don't have an interest in anymore so I'm gonna get rid of all 22 of those which leaves one book that I'm not sure about a wedding weekend that spirals out of control in a hilarious novel about the complexities of female friendship okay you know what this actually sounds like it could be good I think I could like this oh my god <laughs> the first sentence if you want to know the story of how my best friend and I ended up trying to kill each other, I should probably start with the night before she asked me to be her maid of honor. That sounds really good, actually. So I'm going to keep So Happy For You by Celia Lasky. Brings my total books that I am saving to three. This is going so much better than I was hoping. I'm actually getting rid of so many books, and this is amazing. And now we just have one more shelf to do. Okay, this very bottom shelf all the way across is my YA books, and I actually think I'm probably gonna get rid of the majority of these. This shelf is kind of hard for me to <laughs> show you guys. Um, I guess I'll just put my camera on the floor like that. I think I'm just gonna, we'll just go through and I'll kind of rapid fire these. I don't think I'm ever gonna read Bloodlines. Honestly, I don't think I need my Vampire Academy books anymore. Like, I do really love this series, but they just take up a lot of space, honestly. And I don't really feel the need to hold on to things like for nostalgia reasons. Wondersmith I wanna keep because I love that series. I eventually want to reread the Kiss of Deception series, so I'll keep that. Those two Alice and Saf books I want to keep because I do want to read those. I'm going to keep Lee Bardugo. I don't think I'm going to keep Fallen Kingdoms. I think this is an end of an era for me. If you were here on my channel 10 years ago, I think we'll remove those. I'll keep Ray Bear. Also, sorry, you're really seeing the gross dust under my bookshelf right now. Apologies. Once I remove all these books, I will vacuum under there. This weird little section right here are all like little paperbacks and actually I think I can get rid of all of these because these three I didn't really like and then these are arcs of books that I have like the actual copies of. This duology I really liked but I again don't really need to keep it. I'm keeping K. Ankrum. Oh my god there's dust everywhere. Nightshine I think I'm gonna get rid of. I did read this recently and I really liked it but I hate this cover. Midnight Girls I'm keeping. I love this book. Sadie I am gonna keep. I did enjoy that one. I'm gonna keep Blood Countess because I do want to read that. I think it's like a sapphic vampire situation. And then I guess all of these I can pull off. I've read Foul is Fair. I've read Everything Leads to You and Alatso. Moving on down. I will get rid of some Lee Bardugo. I'll get rid of the original Grisha books because I didn't actually really like this trilogy. I think out of these, the only one I really want to keep is this Cassandra Rose Clark because um, I do want to reread this. It's like a pirate book and I remember really liking it. And then from these books over here, I think I'll keep Girl Serpent Thorn because I loved that book. I'll keep Language of Thorns and I'll keep Crooked Kingdom. So this final shelf, I'm getting rid of everything that I pulled off because it is all of the YA books and I'm just not the biggest YA reader anymore and I don't feel the need to hold on to books for nostalgia. Most of them were ones that I've already read or books that were just on my TBR a long time ago and I'm just not the same kind of reader. So there's actually nothing from that shelf that I want to hold on to. So I'm just going to get rid of all of them, which is 37 books. So out of all of those books, I'm getting rid of 165 books and I am keeping three. So let's take a look. I now have so many empty spaces on my bookshelf. There's so many like gaps and spaces for new books. And I'm going to put the three that I saved onto the shelf. So we'll put them right there. This was very successful. I was a little bit worried that once I sat down here and I started like talking about all the books, I would convince myself to keep them. But I was I was slashing. My friend Sarah from Sarah Thon and H was recently here and she was actually going through my bookshelf being like, you can get rid of this and you can get rid of this and you can get rid of this. I was trying to channel what would Sarah do? And I think I did it. I think she would be proud of me for taking off and getting rid of 165 books. And that is only from this first bookshelf. I still have more bookshelves to go in part two of this video. So if you want to continue along in the journey of me going through all my books and unhauling, stick with me. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and check out my Patreon where I post tons of exclusive content. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.